Hey, Brandon. Hey, Fabio. How's it going? Thanks for showing up. I need some help reviewing this EEG. Do I not show up sometimes? <laughs> Just sometimes. All right. Well, I hope you recovered from your head injury last time and are doing better now. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. Your background is yellow, though. You know, I, that's, oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Oh, mine too. Wait, what? What? Getting what? fancy. Well, so tell me some history for this EG. Nope. Aha. As you taught me, you never look at the history before you look at the EG, except for the age. Very good. I, yeah, I was just tempting you. Okay. I wanted to nice. see if you were weak. <laughs> Why don't we want to know the history before we look at this? Because it impacts your interpretation of the EEG. Because our minds are weak. Yes. <laughs> we would be biased. Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be normal, but I don't think it's going to be normal now. No? What do you, what do you see? I'm not seeing anything yet. You got to read my mind. Wait, mm -hmm. go back. Oops. Was, you know, you, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like the way you're driving. Ugh. Here we go uh, again. Can I just have control? Sure. All right, uh, you you ride shotgun. I'm gonna take control here. Sounds good. Let's see, do I have control? Go for it. Yep. Oh, okay, good. Well, so yeah, what what do you? Um, let's just go through this CG as we like we usually will. Would yeah. um, so first of all, well, what state are they in? I think she is awake. Why do you think that? I think there's an eye blink right there at the beginning, the first second. Yeah. Big nice one, mm -hmm. and maybe some PDR even. Hey, you got it. What's your guess of uh, PDR? Uh, Eight point forty-five. That's off a little bit. <laughs> it's. Uh, I think this looks like it's a little faster than that person. You think so? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe maybe eleven actually. Hmm. It's not the best place to look at the PDR, but I think it's it's a pretty fast PDR. Nice. Then, oh, I know um, what you're looking at. You're looking at that slowing in the middle of the page on the left side. Yeah, you're right. So I was going to ask you about symmetry next. So, yeah, it what so what's describe the slowing that you see there? Okay, so it's more on the left. So yeah. the first chain up there, the mm -hmm. left temporal chain, and then the left parasagittal chain. Yeah, and it's uh, polymorphic and not monomorphic. Mm -hmm meaning it's irregular and it, it's not rhythmic. Right. And I think it's in the one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, three to five hertz. So maybe N mix delta and theta. Yeah. I was going to say there's delta slowing there. That really catches my, you know, my eye. It's about um, maybe a hundred microvolts and, and the bipolar montage anyway. Um, yeah. But a mixture of, Delta and theta slowing because one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So I'm agreeing with you so far. Let me move this guy out of the way. Let's go a little farther and see what other tasty morsels are hiding in this delicious EG. It's that the last and second to last seconds. Right here. It looks like a mu rhythm of some sort. I don't like these montages. Somebody messed up our montages. It wasn't me. Okay. Oh. But yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. Right. Maybe. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Why don't you describe what you're seeing? Yeah. So I think that the morphology just catches my eye. Mm -hmm. And I remember that the mu is like the Greek mu letter, but upside down. And it kind of looks like it. Mu. Doesn't it? Yeah. And it's in the right location. That's one of my favorite sounds to say, just the mu. <laughs> That's what cows uh, say in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, your cows are more artful than our cows. <laughs> Ours say moo, and it's not as pretty. <laughs> wait, so wait a second. Looks wait, like yeah. It actually looks pretty nice. So what do we have here? Uh, I think we have a spike. I think we probably do. What makes you think? Now we know that there are some. We can. We know that there are evil forces at play in the universe, trying to make us think things are spikes when they're not spikes. You have to be careful. So how do you avoid being fooled by yeah by the evil demon of the EG that wants you to believe falsehoods? Hmm. 
I, I think it, I think you sent me uh, the six criteria a while back when I started my fellowship. Is that what you're referring to? Sure. Yeah, those can be helpful. Let's see if I remember some, and you can help me out with the others. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So first of all, I'll just take the easy one first: that they're sharp or spiky. They have to hurt if you sit on them. <laughs> it definitely does because it looks pretty pointed to me. Can you, can we measure it since you took over my control of the? Pro you want to drive? I can give you your learner's permit. No, that's fine. Okay. So it looks like what? Maybe maybe a hundred ish. Oh, I'm not that. I'm not that good. I can't tell by looking at a two second scale. <laughs> Oh, you mean the how long it how long it lasts? Think about duration. Oh yeah, I mean I'd say what well so it goes from here to here maybe it's less than a second so maybe what maybe like half a second maybe a half a second, including the slow wave. Oh, it's just I was just including the spike itself. Yeah. Okay. So what would you judge that? I'd say like 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 thirty seven microseconds. Let's see. Uh-oh. Nah. Uh oh, the, you can see the demon at work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this one, it, it appears to be, now I don't really have that in the right place, but it's it's somewhere around 94 milliseconds or 86. Okay, so it's a sharp wave. Uh-huh. Okay. But it doesn't matter, right? If it's a spike or a sharp wave, clinically they have the same significance. It matters to some people. <laughs> Why is that? Right. Yeah, I don't. It, if we're trying to decide, do they have uh, epilepsy or not? Right? It probably provides about the same amount of evidence, I guess. And okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, right. it, uh, so it's spiky. It's it's you know, spiky or sharp, and I think it has. Um, you know, I would say it has two phases. So it has this mm -hmm. this first phase that's uh, going up, and this other phase that's going down. Um, mm -hmm. What else do we know? I actually another another feature is that the we we usually want the upgoing part of the spike, the slope of that upgoing part, and the downgoing part to be different. Mm -hmm. One one steeper than the other. It doesn't matter which one. Mm -hmm. um, to me, I, I I suspect that actually we're not very good at judging this kind of thing. But <laughs> I think uh, um, it's probably a steeper slope going down. I think mm -hmm. my, I could be just fooled by that because it's longer, but. Yeah, that's one of the criteria. What else do you know? Yeah, yeah. After going slow wave helps, right? After going slow wave helps. Yep. Yeah. Um, another thing that helps is that it doesn't blend into the background, right? It's it disrupts the background in some way. So I think you you you'd agree with me that there's really this just jumps out. You you notice it right away. Right. What else? Can you can you just point to me that the after going slow wave just to make sure that we're looking at the same thing? Yeah. So it's it's this yeah. here this nice round slow wave okay yeah so what else i think that was all i remember is there any anything well, else? so it's important that the distribution of it you know makes um makes sense right? right so if we can get into a decent um montage let's see let's see if we can get into our Refer okay, so this the the reference here is the C two electrode, mm -hmm. um, and I think I think this is uh, I think this is the peak here. I'm not sure I can convince you of that in this montage. Let me just mm -hmm. how about how about this average one? Will you accept this average one? Yeah, I think so. I see more T three T five. Yeah, so I think we see it at here T three. Um, T5 and yeah so so what is the uh, well so okay so first question is yeah the dist what do we mean by the distribution so is it going in the right direction that's one question mm -hmm. is what do you think is it, it, does it make sense for this uh, to be going up yeah yeah it's negative surface negative. Yeah. yeah and then the other part is um, it's it we see it in more than one electrode, right? So that that what if it was only in one electrode? Would that make sense? Artifact until proven otherwise. 
Yeah, because the when a spike occurs, we know that the uh, there's a big chunk of cortex actually involved in that. There's the uh, textbooks say that you have to have about six square centimeters of cortex discharging. I think there's that might not be exactly the right number, but you know you're going to see it if you see it in one place. You should see some neighbors too. Mm -hmm. um, so good, yeah. So I think that this is an epileptic spike. You don't need all of those things to be true, you know, for to sort of be confident that it is one. And and honestly, um, really get good at this. You kind of have you have to see a lot of them, and then you have to. I think it helps to see the patients and know, you know, what happened to them because in the original way that the um, epileptiform discharges were defined, I mm -hmm. think it was actually really clever in a way. It was just they were defined as the kinds of discharges that you see in patients who have epilepsy and not in patients who don't have epilepsy. So it really basically underlines the idea that you you kind of have to learn this by experience and, and recognize the pattern. Mm -hmm. If you are very rigid about these rules, you'll find all kinds of false positives actually. And Can we talk about the concept of having a field? Because I feel like it took me a while to get that right. Yeah. In my head. Yep. So I just circled it up there and I see that. Let me see if you agree with me. So having a field is basically having a discharge that makes sense and shows up in different electrodes that are anatomically close together, or it makes sense from an anatomical standpoint. Is that what having a field means? Yeah. And that was our, I think that was our sixth criterion for epileptron discharges, right? The, the distribution has to make sense or it's part of that is having a field. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Well, actually, I have to go. Um, okay. I think we just, we're done with this one. Yeah, it was a good yield. We looked at it for five minutes. We already saw a bunch of spikes. Yeah. Well, um, you know, I, one thing I was thinking, though, I don't know if you can see this. Um, I'm holding up my mug. This mug is not ideal. I yeah, say we should get better mugs. You think so? If we're going to be reading EGs together a lot, uh, you know, I think we need better mugs. This one's hmm. kind of a little scary. I don't know if you can see it, but it's yeah, it has a another problem. It. Yeah, I'll think about it. If you behave, maybe I'll give you one for Christmas. I would appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Let's, I hope uh, there's some more interesting EGs to read then. Go home. I'll keep reading. See you tomorrow. Bye.